I wanted to make this video to talk about burnout, maybe is the word I'm looking for. Um, I guess motivation is another way of looking at it. Uh, I will say that from my experience in med school so far, it's been really, really challenging for me personally to get through every day and every week and every one of these months so far. And I'd be lying if I said I didn't always, or I didn't think about, you know, what does it look like? What does the world look like if you said enough is enough and I wanna do something different and I wanna leave? And I've talked to my counselor at school about this and she gave me some advice and feedback that I wanted to share with you guys because I think it's helping me personally. I hope it helps other people too. And so I think for me, I know not everyone thinks the same way that I do, but my brain analyzes a lot of stuff and asks the question, should I be doing this a lot? Like, why am I doing this right now? Is this even worth it? Like, what's, is there a light at the end of the tunnel? And is that light something I even want to go towards? And what my counselor told me today that is helping me is to have intervals where you check in with yourself. And I think the problem is that pretty quickly, my brain can go out of balance in terms of how often I ask why or should I be doing this. And the issue with that is that you can go down some serious rabbit holes that get pretty dark and I'll just be thinking in circles and beating myself up for even being here and, and doing anything. And it's not good for my mental health. It's not productive. I don't get any work done. And so what she told me was that the way to structure this is to say that, you know, when you have that thought of why am I doing this or should I be doing this, what I need to do is I need to have allocated times to say, yes, I will think about this. This is an important conversation to have or a, a, a thing to think about, but now's not the right time. We will talk about this, but we'll talk about this in a month from now or a week from now, but not now. But it, but on that date, you will actually follow through on it because you do care about yourself and you do want to have that conversation because that is an important conversation. So it's not sweeping it under the rug. It is simply saying that that is something that you need to do at a later time. And by doing that, it helps calm my brain down in terms of going down this rabbit hole of asking why, why, why should, what is good, like all this stuff. And it, it's, it's helpful to just be like, you know, I just have to hang things out until November 12th. On November 12th will be the day that I can take a step back and I can ask myself, am I, co am I okay with things? Is school something I'm okay with continuing? And, you know, maybe you can get to the end of the semester and then check in again and say, like, how are you feeling? Asking myself here, like, is this something I actually want to continue doing? And if I don't have these built-in checkpoints or check-ins with myself, then it's going to get really ugly because I will just beat myself up being like, you shouldn't be here. There's so many better things to do with my life than be here right now. And I'll just feel terrible and no good will come out of that, you know? So uh, that was some good advice. Another piece of advice for me uh, that I, I got today was, you know, so I'm 25 years old. Uh, I didn't go straight from undergrad into med school. I took about three years off. I was, and I wasn't off, you know, I was working and I was, you know, having a career uh, and I enjoyed it uh, and I learned a lot and 
I'm glad I did it. So no regrets there. Uh, but the thing that I wanted to get to though, was like, I'm 25 years old and you know, the, the whole, I think it's identity, um, kind of comes into this picture in terms of like vision. And it, 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 it's very similar to what I was just talking about in terms of like, why am I doing this? You know, what, what's the end goal here? What is the light at that tunnel? Um, is that, you know, and, and for me, I will say being the age that I am right now, I don't know what I want to do. Like, I don't know who I want to be. Um, you know, I have pr values and principles that I try to make sure I stick to and I check in with myself every day to make sure that like I'm okay with what I've done that day that aligns with my values or my expectations of myself. Um, but, you know, in the grand scheme of things, you know, if you're talking like five years out from now, 10 years out from now, I have no clue where I'm going to be, who I'm going to be, what am I going to be doing? And so it creates a mindset of me feeling very lost and I don't know, you know, I, I won't know what I'm doing. Like, I, I mean, like the thing with med school is that it puts structure into your life, whether you like it or not. Like you will be getting a midterm on this. You will be getting a practical exam on this on the state, like you will be getting a final exam. You will be having to take the step one. You will have to take whatever. And it's just like that that's added an immense amount of structure into your life that previously did not exist. And, you know, maybe that's a good thing. Maybe that's a bad thing. Not my place to say, but, um, you know, it injects structure into your life. But despite that, at the same time, I still feel kind of lost, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I wonder if this is really who I am, if this is really what I wanna be doing with my life. And the thing that really helps me that I was told today by my counselor was, you know, when you start having that self-doubt, when you start feeling really lost, when you start feeling really bad about yourself, this is the moment when you ask yourself point blank, do you want to drop out right now? And think about what it would mean if you said yes and did it. And so like, you know, what would I be doing? Like if, if I didn't have to attend a class and study for all these exams and, you know, worry about the next practical, you know, what's my life going to look like? And so the thing is that, that she was really pushing me to get to was to recognize the fact that you can add certainty into your life by asking some very basic questions. And so like, you know, my answer to that question right now is like, do I want to drop out right now? And that's no, like, I want to see this through. I want to keep going today. Like, I want to see today through and she said, that is super important that you have that answer. Like, you know, yes, this is what you want to do. And now that you have that answer, you can say like, okay, so today the answer is yes, you want to stay in this program. And if you're going to be in this program, then this is what you're going to have to do today. You're going to have to watch a bunch of pre-recorded lectures. You're going to have to go into anatomy lab. You're going to have to, uh, you know, prepare for the next midterm. You're going to have to spend some time doing this. And you basically just, you, you, you understand that this is the set of actions that you will now do because of your decision to proceed with staying in this program. And for me, it's, I don't know if it's weird to say, but honestly, I've never really looked at stuff that way. And it's helping me to look at it this way, to just be like, Yes or no? Am I going to see this thing through today? And I know it's cliche to say, and I say it a lot, but I just take it a day at a time and that's all I can do. And like the thing I'm also learning about med school is that you can't really look too far ahead because it gets really ugly really fast. 
And I know a lot of people around me who are in the same program who say things like, next week's gonna be terrible. Next month's gonna be terrible. Next block is gonna be terrible. Next year is gonna be terrible. Year three is gonna be terrible. And so it's just like, yeah, if you look that far ahead, like it will look really bad and really ugly. So all you can really do is just look at today and ask yourself that question. And once you've made your decision, act on that decision and that's all you can do and it's okay if it's not good enough and that's something i'm genuinely trying to tell myself right now and believe um it hurts when it's not good enough I'm not gonna lie it hurts when i fail when i gave it my best um but it just means that i need to practice those things more which to me it's a bit insulting and a bit embarrassing to be like, wow, you know, I did my best and clearly I still need to practice more. Like, I'm just used to, if I give something my best, it's usually good enough to pass. So it's just very hurtful when it doesn't pass, but hopefully that's pain that gets numbed the more you fail. And I don't like that, but maybe it's true. But anyway, I wanted to wrap things up with that. I hope that this is helpful or interesting for people. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Love to hear them and be well.